Hello everyone, welcome to Dawa CIT. Today we are going to discuss a very important which is mostly asked in an interview regarding SQL that is how to find nth highest salary in SQL. nth highest salary means unlimited highest salary like you know find out top one highest salary, second highest salary, fifth, tenth, fifteenth highest salary, anything can ask in an interview. So you have to be fully prepared before going to the interview. And this is a very important query beginners must know what is that and how to use them. So without wasting any time, let's get started. You have to understand the query carefully. Then after that you have to do it practically in your system okay so first of all you have to create table but i have already created table here you can see employee table let's check a table select star from employee table select all and execute look at the table here and there is a lot of salary of employee right and now if you want to find out the nth highest salary from this table then what will be query let's know very simple query the query is select employee id comma employee name comma salary from table name what is my table name employee tbl where n minus 1 equal to bracket open and close and within the bracket type here select count function bracket open and close inside the bracket type here distinct salary from employee TBL where here you can see in employee database only have one table that is employee table now we have to compare here but with whom there is only one table right so here we just think about i mean with just imagination we have a two table you know this table represent the alias e1 and this table we represent here e2 okay so now type here after where the condition e2 dot salary greater than e1 dot salary okay this is one of the best query to find out the n numbers of salary i mean you know through this one query you can find any highest salary no complexity easily find out n numbers of salary just change here n and put numbers n means what n means nth highest okay i mean if you want to get the top one highest salary then we'll have to put one here instead of n and if you want to get the second highest salary then you will have to put two here and if you want to get 15th highest salary then you will have to put here 15th okay just the change of n okay and put here numbers so let's first find out the highest salary from this table and the query will be this okay just we change here n okay so here we want to find out the first highest salary so here we change n and put here one number one means highest salary okay select all and execute see 
employee ID 6, employee name Deepak Chaudhary and salary 50,000. 50,000 is a high salary from this table. Okay, it is a correct. Let's check 50,000 is a high salary or not. Yes, see 50,000 is a high salary from this table, right? If you want to find out the second highest salary, just change here this numbers and put 2. So select all and execute. Say 40,000 is second highest salary. Okay, it is a correct. And now if you want to find out the fourth highest salary, then put here 4. Okay, and now again select all and execute. Say employee ID 2, employee name Rahul Sarma and salary 20,000. Let's check. The 20,000 is a fourth high salary or not? See, 50,000 is a high salary and 40,000 is a second high salary and 30,000 is a third high salary. Okay, and see, 20,000 is a fourth high salary. It is a correct. Through this one query, you can find out any high salary. Just change the number instead of N, right? So now let's understand what exactly the logic of this query, okay? So let's go to the theoretically. First of all, we have to take a table here and from this table, we will find out highest salary. Okay, here we will not use this query right now. There is one more query to find first and second highest salary and it is very easy. If you want, you can use this query too, but we will use this query for third and fourth highest salary. Okay, and also explain logically how does it work. So let's first find out highest salary and the query will be this select max within the bracket type here salary from employee table. So after executing this query to return highest salary from this table. So what is the highest salary here 50,000. So it will return 50,000. But if you want to find out second highest salary, the same query will be right here. Just give less than symbol between them. How? Right here, select max within the bracket type salary from employee TBL. Where salary less than. And within the bracket, this query. Select max salary from employee TBL. We got the highest salary from this query. What was the highest salary? 50,000. This query will also yield the highest salary, but due to this condition, it will print that highest salary, which will be smaller than this one. So in this table, which salary is smaller than 50,000? And the largest among the rest of the salary, 40,000. So it is a true. 40,000 is a less than 50,000, but the largest among the rest of the salary? Yes. So it will return what? 40,000. So 40,000 is a second highest salary. But if you want to get 5th, 10th, 15th, 25th salary, then this query becomes very complicated. So now we will use this query. So that you can find out unlimited salary like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and numbers of salary you can easily find out through this query. So let's understand this query here. To execute this query first we have to take two tables here. Actually there is only one table employee table. We just have to imagination that we have two tables. Okay. One table will be represented by E1 and the other table will be represented by E2. So now the first you can see here select employee ID comma employee name comma salary. Whatever attributes you want you have to write it okay from employee table. Here you see E1. E1 is the alias of employee table. The first table we represented by E1 and then where n minus 1. What is n here? n. Let's suppose if you want to get second highest salary, then you have to put 2 here instead of n. And if you want to get fifth highest salary, then you have to put here fifth. Okay, you got it? 
and now equal bracket open and close so within the bracket type here select count here you see count function is used what will be the count function do here count home salary which salary you will also know after a while okay and then within the count function type distinct salary here you can see distinct used with salary why use distinct because there can be many duplicate salary in one table that's why distinct was used here so that it counts the duplicate salary only once not more than two okay you got it now from employee tbl represented by e2 where e2 dot salary greater than e1 dot salary so what does it mean this condition it means you know logically when we will compare both the tables and after doing that whichever salary of e2 table will be greater than the salary of e1 table only that salary will be count not the count less than salary i mean after comparing if this condition is true then the salary will be count otherwise not if the condition is false then it will not count i mean the e2 salary must be greater than the value of e1 salary okay that's why the count function is used here so that all the true conditions are only counted by them and that count must be equal to this then we will get the output if it is not equal then we will comparing continuously one by one row okay so let's find out fourth highest salary and i will show you how does it logically work if we want to get fourth highest salary then we have to put here four instead of n so four minus one how much three right and equal to now here is the work of this query and to understand this completely query we have to compare these two tables here you see in the first row of the e1 table what it will do it will compare the entire row of the e2 table according to this query we have to set here okay so what is the salary in the first row 10000 so now we have to give greater than 10000 in the entire row of salary of e2 here now we have to see here which condition is true so first 10000 is greater than 10000 it is true no it is not true it is false so it won't count okay i have already told you that only true condition will be counted okay so now 20000 is greater than 10000 it is true right 30000 is greater than 10000 it is also true right so according to this it is also true because the same salary right so now 40000 is greater than 10000 it is also true 50000 is greater than 10000 it is also true all done now what will the count function do here it will count all the true conditions so how much is true here 1 2 3 and 4 here you see the salary of both of them is same therefore here we will count these two only once because distinct has been used here right so here there are four true so now three equal to four it is equal no so this means that the first row is not our fourth highest salary now what we have to do here again again in the same way we have to compare the whole row one by one until three equal to three so let's compare the second row what is the salary in the second row 20,000 so now we have to give greater than 20,000 in the entire row of salary of E2 here now it's done to check the condition which is true so first 10,000 is greater than 20,000 it is false right so now 20,000 is greater than 20,000 it is also false 30,000 is greater than 20,000 it is true 
right so according to this it is also true because the same salary right so now 40,000 is greater than 20,000 it is also true 50,000 is greater than 20,000 it is also true now we have to count all the conditions that are true here okay so how much conditions are true here 1 2 and 3 here you see there are two 30,000 salary this means we will count here the duplicate salary only once okay because the distinct is used here so 3 equal to 3 it is equal yes it is equal so it will print the second row of data employee id 2 employee name rahul sarma salary 20000 so here you see 20000 is a fourth highest salary or not yes 20,000 is a fourth highest salary according to this query, right? So in the same way, you can also get third highest salary. So let's find out, okay? We have to get third highest salary. So that's why we have to put here 3. 3 minus 1, how much? 2. Now, we have to compare in the same way before we did it, okay? Before when we compared with the first row, then we got 4. And when we compared with second row, then 3. So 3 and 4 are not equal to 2, right? Both are not equal. So these two rows are not our third highest salary. So let's compare third row. What is the salary in the third row? 30,000. So now we have to give here greater than 30,000 in the entire row of A2. 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, etc, etc. Now it's turn to check the condition which is true. So first, 10,000 is greater than 30,000. It is false, right? So now, 20,000 is greater than 30,000. It is also false. 30,000 is greater than 30,000. It is also false, right? So according to this, it is also false, okay? So now, 40,000 is greater than 30,000. It is true? Yes. And 50,000 is greater than 30,000. It is also true. So now we have to count all the conditions that are true here. 1 and 2. How many conditions are true here? 2. So 2 equal to 2. It is equal? Yes, it is equal. So this means third row our third highest salary. Right? But but here you see even in the fourth row the salary is 30,000. This means the same salary. Right? This means that when we compare with the fourth row also it will be same result. So it simply means that there will be two third highest salary. One would be the third row and the other would be the fourth row. Employee ID 3, employee name Mayang Das, salary 30,000. And the other employee ID 4, employee name Ayush Lama, salary 30,000. So in this way you can easily find out first, second, fifth, fifteenth and n numbers of salary through this one query. So if you think this video is very helpful for you, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching. Jai Hind.